breast tube 265R. And we have two tabletop models, one slightly smaller, similar to this. This particular 265R is 24 inches by 24 inches by 36 inches. Our 165, which is slightly smaller, is 24 inches by 18 inches by 30 inches. So what we'll do is we're, we've got the machine off right now. We're just going to explain. Uh, there's another section on YouTube or if you take a look on our website about setting these up. These are very, very simple to set up. This just flips up. We've just got the thing set up right now. And to give you a bit of a tour, uh, there is, we can come around the back here. You'll see this is where the connections are. This is the off-on switch. Usually these things are all hooked up and you would never have to do anything with them. But the one point that I would say is that you will notice that there are some rubber standoffs here that keep the, the unit away from a wall. And you just have to make sure this back floats. The whole platform is part of the weighing scale. So it's important to note that when you've set this thing up, that you have nothing touching. You don't have cables or anything else should be touching. This should be totally floating. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll turn on the, the uh, unit. And what we'll do is we'll come around now to the front. And what you're going to see is it's already come up there. So you'll see some flashing lights. These flashing lights are common to the machine. And uh, you can buy software packages that work with this. Other people's software can control the machine. But the one thing that will always be steady are these lights, which are on the machine, that show you what is going on. And I don't know if we can get close up. Basically, this is a power button this red LED. You have a yellow LED and you'll see the arrows here. That is for dimensioning. That light will come on when the machine is telling you that it has a valid dimension. In other words, it's, it's figured out the dimension and it's ready to go. This is the weight. It's green. When there is a, when it has figured out uh, the weight and it is steady, this will light up. And it, there's nothing on the platform right now. This is the zero button. When the blue light is on, the platform should be empty. If the platform is empty and you don't see that light, what you should do is clean the platform off and then zero it. And in this case, we've got an LCD controller here. This is an optional controller. Uh, we also have a computer control, which has a lot of, uh, some extra features to it. But this is a basic controller and you can zero it here you can acquire send print and i'll show you this in from how this works in a little bit now you'll notice on the machine that there is a yellow border that goes in around the machine basically the yellow border is a warning zone anything that you're measuring should be inside that yellow border now i'm going to take a box uh, this is a calibrated box. When you're putting it in and measuring anything, the way this unit measures is it is measuring, you push it against the side, it is measuring from the back to the front, it is measuring the edges, and is measuring from the bottom to the top. So you must have everything solid against it. And the box has to be cubed or rectangular because you're measuring edges. So that is very important. So uh, this obviously won't work. You can't just put it on sideways or whatever. You'll get an incorrect measurement. In fact, if we take a look at the, the lights here, you'll see that it's saying, I, I figured out the, the weight, but there's no dimension. The reason there's no dimension is it we haven't got this pushed against it. As soon as we push it against it, what you'll see is all the dimensions come in. You'll see 12, 12, 12, 12, because this is a calibrated box. But you'll also note that the, the red and the green are on. Now, in the case here where we're using the controller, this has a valid weight and valid dimension. I'll show you briefly when we do a size it. We can control a size it with the software. You'll see the same information coming in. In this case here, there's, this is showing you the actual weight. 
The machine will also take a dimensional factor and work out the dimensional weight. And basically that is the weight that the courier company would charge if they're transporting it. And it's a means that they have to make sure that uh, you don't have something that's bigger that does not weigh enough. Everything has to have a certain weight for the volume, a minimum weight for the volume. And this is so that they can be sure when they're packing a truck or whatever that they've got a guaranteed revenue on it. Okay.